Hello, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm I'm Basim Sheikh, and as uh, my introduction has been done by uh, the coordinator, uh, I'm handling the uh, India operation for the Simplify. It is a Norway-based uh, company, and I'm associated with this company from last five years uh, when we have started operations in India. We are a product-based company, and we are a product-based company, and uh, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Okay. So we are a product-based company and uh, we are majorly into the AI softwares and AI solutions. Now we all know that uh, we use AI solution in day-to-day -day, uh, uh, day -day, uh, activities basically. You can take example of voice assistant, you can take example of uh, face recognition. These are the day-to-day -day AI solution we use in the personal life. And we cannot imagine our life now without these kind of solutions. Uh, now this is with the personal life, how now AI is impacting to the co corporate and how corporate is reacting to such kind of AI solutions. Uh, nowadays like digital transformation is enjoying like deeper penetration in all the industry across all the domains. No matter what sort of like end users they have, they want to have, they want to avail some kind of AI solution where they can enhance their customer experience uh, with the help of the AI and new technologies. Uh, BFSI is uh, one of the uh, early adapter of uh, AI and the uh, BFSI industry is going to uh, some kind of uh, modernization as of now uh, with the help of AI solution. Why, why, why this kind of trend is there basically? Uh, why nowadays like exploring some kind of uh, use cases, what sort of new AI solutions are there in the market, what sort of AI, what sort of use cases they can automate in their, uh, uh, their organization. There are the multiple factors towards that. The one is, first one is a competition. Everybody wants to lead their market. They want to ahead of everybody. Apart from that, uh, we know that uh, with the help of automation, we can automate repetitive and the simple tasks, which can move to the automation and the manual and the human being can focus on the uh, critical part. Apart from that, like reducing cost is a major factor, Redu reducing cost, uh, increasing productivity and apart from that, like even reducing workload from the employees, and that is also a critical part. Nowadays, like market is employee centric and you need to take care of your employees. If uh, somebody is working like day and night, of, uh, and the workload is continuous, then definitely iteration rate will be there. So these are the major factors why uh, BFSI and other domains are really focusing on the AI automation uh, in the digital formation. Now, uh, AI, now AI is necessity and not a choice basically. Everybody knows that uh, they can uh, uh, do wonders with the help of AI automation. BFSI is among the early adapters of AI within the um, uh, business operation, AI has become essential to, uh, to meet their rising customer experience as with the, with the help of AI they can provide uh, responses on the time and the, with the limited time to their customers and then that's how they can keep their customers happy and that, that's how they can increase their user base. And uh, that's, the, that's the only thing where they can sustain uh, if they can increase their user base uh, in the current market. Uh, uh, while maintaining current market competition, uh, most of the BFSI uh, in, uh, organization has started some kind of automation in their day-to-day -day operation as of now. And uh, AI automation is no more a new concept for them. Uh, no more new concept for them and everybody is trying to avail that. Now see how the AI, uh, the market is positive towards uh, AI automation solution. This is the survey from the PwC, 54% 54 54 executive says that uh, uh, implementing AI solution, they have uh, increased their productivity. Now how productivity is getting increased, like uh, we are, we are you moving uh, repetitive tasks to AI automation and that's how they are able to focus on the critical tasks and that's how they are able to uh, provide their uh, service in the proper way to the customers. 79% uh, people say that uh, AI, uh, uh, they think that AI will make their job easy and simple and the more efficient. Uh, if you see these figures like globally 50% 50, 50 of the companies say uh, has already adopted AI in at least one of the business solution. 96% says that they, their solutions are already in the deployment stage or they are saying they have all, at least initiated the project. 
from this 96% test, 27% people says that they have already deployed their solution and they are availing their benefits of the AI. Now, what are the focal areas of AI deployment in the BFSR sector? There are the four major areas where uh, AI de deployment can, uh, can be done. First is the customer service, claims handling, uh, banking assistant, and email coordination. If you see overall, the process uh, uh, is a similar kind of process is there for all these four areas. Uh, end user calls or uh, end user sends some kind of un unstructured text to the executive. Executive try to understand that unstructured text. He uh, extract the important information from that unstructured text, whether it is chart, email, whatever platform. He, uh, executive goes through any kind of system. He extract the uh, important information from the system, and he or she respond back to the particular end user. That's how the overall process works. In some of the scenario, even documentation handling is a part, which can be handled by the document bot or uh, uh, some kind of AI solution. And this this process can be automated end to end uh, with the help of AI uh, AI automation where uh, uh, emails can be read or maybe uh, unstructured text can be read from the uh, any kind of ticketing system or even from the chat. Uh, and, and AI can understand the intention and accordingly AI can take uh, a decision on top of that and it can interact to the multiple system with the help of API or maybe if legacy systems are there, then screen automation comes in the picture in this case. Now there are the four things which indicates like your business really required uh, to invest in AI. If you are dealing with the, uh, the, the major data, like uh, huge data in day-to-day -day operation, whether it is document, whether it is uh, maybe email, any kind of unstructured text. So you, need, you, you are supposed to move all these repetitive activities to AI so that your core team can uh, put focus on the uh, important customer and they can provide proper uh, 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 services to the, their customers and even it will increase the productivity as the core team is focusing on the important work. And overall this is a win-win situation even for the organization. Uh, if, if you see like your employees are frequently working over time, then it's, it's alarm time. You need, to, uh, you need to reduce their workload by moving their repetitive tasks to some kind of automation solution. And uh, this is how even you will keep your employees happy because you know that this is uh, employee centric market and we need to take care of employees otherwise then attrition rate will be there and every, every new joiners comes then uh, training part is there, other expenses are there and this is, how, this is overall impacts on the growth of the company. So workload you, is the problem if uh, you see in the day to day basis uh, with your employees. So you need to really look into that. Uh, if, if people are really aware of what are the AI solutions, what sort of ROI they will get with particular kind of AI solution, they should go ahead and they should avail that solution because that's how they will sustain in the market. The uh, fourth one is if you want to scale faster uh, in the minimum budget and uh, in with the minimum uh, sim like smaller period, then AI is the only solution where you can avail uh, uh, automation and you can achieve your uh, scaling factor. Now, what are the feedfall? Assume that like you are going ahead with some kind of AI solution, customized AI solution, whether it is like in-house or whether it is uh, with some kind of vendor. What are the pitfalls over there? Like there, there are the three the multiple, uh, three important factors where you need to be uh, very careful: funding, skill sets, and the sample data. You need to be very careful that funding need to be proper uh, from the starting of the project till the end of the project. As you know that the uh, implementing AI solution is not the economical affair. It need uh, X amount of uh, funding and you need to be very particular about that funding. Then only you will be able to achieve ROI on top of that. Otherwise everything will get delayed and that's how then uh, it will be a kind of additional cost to you, your business. Skill set. Whenever like companies uh, going ahead with the customized solution in house, they need to be very careful. Like what sort of resources they have, what sort of skill sets in house they have. 
Otherwise, then uh, if they are going ahead with some kind of AI solution, which skill set is not present in the organization, then they will end up with the training of uh, particular resources and that's how the things will get delayed. And as the technology will new for that resource, you, you even you cannot imagine or you cannot predict like what sort of quality you will get and what sort of deadlines uh, achievement will be there from your team members. Third one is the sample data. Uh, for getting particular accuracy level, you need to have sample data in place. Otherwise, accuracy level uh, won't be up to the mark. Now, what is the solution for such kind of problem? Uh, Simplify Digital Studio can be one of the solution. Uh, we make AI simple and accessible for all. Simple to assemble, train, integrate, uh, supervise, and expand. What do you mean by the assemble? Assemble means configuring the bot, uh, uh, for, for the different different sources, whether it is email, whether it is ticketing tool, from where we want to read any kind of unstructured text. The assembly is very easy with the help of Simplify Studio. Training can be done by any non-technical person who knows how to handle what, are, what is the inf important information from that uh, particular email unstructured text. He can uh, identify that information and he can train the bot. So uh, uh, technical skill set is not needed for the uh, training purpose. Integration we do majorly with the APIs. We prefer APIs as everything happens in the background. But if somebody has like legacy system and they want to achieve end-to-end -end automation, then screen automation comes in the picture. And then we take uh, different help, uh, help from the different technology like UI path or automation anywhere as per customer's requirement. That's how we achieve end-to-end -end automation in, uh, here. Supervising is very easy with the help of Simplify Studio. Be, with the, this platform, you can monitor your day-to-day -day activities, how your bot is functioning, how many unstructured texts are getting into the not identified, or how many getting wrongly identified. And you can correct that data on the daily basis. That's how you will increase uh, accuracy level for your bots. And the expansion is also one of the major factor and the easiest thing with the Simplify uh, product. Uh, I, because you need to just configure the bot, you need to train the bot, define the action flow, and your bot is ready to go live. And the launching of this can be done in the weeks. We don't need much time because this is out of the product, out of the shell product, and um, uh, majorly we deal with the data and the action flow with the APIs and the screen, screen automation. How simplify AI simple and accessible for all? Uh, we can go up to the 90% automation grade. Here everybody has to understand like AI is not a magic. And if you deploy something, not necessary that on the first day you will get 90% automation uh, over there. It will gradually increase on the basis of the way you are training, what, the way you are sample data providing to the bot. Maybe it will start from the 50% and gradually it will go to 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. It's depend on how you are, uh, how you are training your bot. Um, and our solution can be implemented within a week. No coding skill sets are required. We can train our bot with the minimum samples of the 100, uh, uh, 100 uh, sample data. Uh, data privacy and the compliances part, we are taking care with the ISOs and the, with the data centers. So that is nothing to worry. And this is how you can eliminate your repetitive tasks and the manual work. If you want to uh, discuss use cases in detail for the BFSI domain, please visit our booth where we can discuss the actual use cases in the detail and what sort of solutions we have provided to our customers. Thanks for listening to me patiently and have a great day ahead. Thanks a lot. Yeah.